Good morning everyone, I am Yuri De Pra from the University of Pisa and today I will present an evaluation of rotation gestures in rotary versus motionless knobs. High-screen interaction with knobs controller, called also haptic rotation, are widely used in contexts such as driving or while using professional appliances. The common mechanical knobs are very cheap and widely adapted but their lifetime is often reduced by mechanical wear, seepage of liquids and dirt, or even vandalism. On the other hand, the virtualization of knobs on touchscreen asks for visual attention and gives less precise control. In this paper, we present the motionless knob, a fixed cylinder protruding from the user interface capable to encode the rotation gesture. The motionless knob design put together many benefits of standard and virtual knobs, but poses several questions in terms of technical requirement and perception action issues, such as the affordance with the user interface or the possible differences in terms of accuracy and precision between gestures and rotation. To answer those questions, we built a device consisting of a cylinder that can be set free to rotate, called rotation configuration, or locked, called gesture configuration. Behind the cylinder, a high-speed camera is used to track the individual position of the fingertips during rotation and gestures. A further standard mechanical knob, called routine configuration, was used to validate the experimental device. Participants were asked to perform multiple rot haptic rotation in routine, rotation and gesture configuration, covering 45 and 90 degrees in both the clockwise and the counterclockwise direction. During each trial, we measure the mean and the variable error, the finger deviation, that is the individual movement performed by each fingertip, and the initial position of the hand. Results on accuracy and precision show a general overshoot about 10-15 degrees that remains stable across the three configurations, the angle amplitude and the direction. Concerning the finger deviation, gestures were found to have significantly higher values than rotations as each finger can slide independently on the surface. The direction, instead, played a significant role regarding the initial position of the hand. In the subjective evaluation, the gesture configuration scored worse than the others in all the criteria. However, although the participant believed they performed worse in gesture configuration, objective measurement show equal mean, sign, and variable error. To conclude, haptic rotation on standard and motionless knobs have comparable performance in terms of accuracy and precision. However, the variability of individual finger poses several issues in terms of detection and modeling, especially if gestures are not constrained. Thanks for your attention.